Ever wondered how your state stacks up against the rest in terms of economy, crime, and other significant aspects? A fascinating question, isn't it? And one that we're about to delve into. In this video, we're going to take an analytical journey across the United States, comparing each state based on various crucial factors. Imagine for a moment, a countrywide contest where the metrics are not speed or strength, but elements that shape our daily lives. Things like gross domestic product, crime rates, education quality, fiscal stability, healthcare, infrastructure, natural environment, and opportunity. Some may lead in one area, while others may excel in another. Each state, a unique player, with its own strengths and weaknesses, vying for the top spot in this intriguing matchup. But where does your state stand? Is it a frontrunner or a straggler? Stay tuned as we take a deep dive into these rankings and see where your state stands. First off, let's dive into the economic powerhouse of each state, their gross domestic product. Gross domestic product, or GDP, is essentially the total value of everything produced by all the people and companies in the state. It's a key indicator of economic health. When the GDP is on the rise, the economy is in good shape. But when it falls, it could signal trouble. So, who tops the list when it comes to GDP? Unsurprisingly, it's California. Known for its tech hubs like Silicon Valley and a robust entertainment industry, California's economy is a force to be reckoned with. Next in line is Texas. With a diverse economy that ranges from oil and gas to technology and healthcare, Texas is not just about cowboy boots and barbecues. It's a significant player in the national economy. New York, with its financial hub of Wall Street and a thriving tourism sector, isn't far behind, taking the third spot. On the other end of the spectrum we find states like Vermont, Wyoming, and Alaska. These states may not have the same economic clout as the heavy hitters but, remember GDP isn't everything. These states offer other qualities like beautiful landscapes and a slower pace of life which can be just as valuable. Now why is GDP important? Well it gives us a snapshot of the economic performance of a state, it helps us understand which sectors are growing and which ones might need a boost. It's a valuable tool for policymakers and investors alike. But it's also essential to remember that a high GDP doesn't necessarily mean everyone in the state is rolling in dough. It's a measure of total output, not how wealth is distributed. So, while a state might have a high GDP, it doesn't automatically mean everyone's living the high life. Now that we've looked at the economic side, let's shift gears and take a look at crime rates. Switching gears from economy to safety, how does your state fare when it comes to crime rates? With 50 unique states, each with its own culture and laws, crime rates can differ significantly across the United States. When we look at these rates, we consider two main types of crimes. Violent crimes, which include offenses like assault and robbery, and property crimes such as burglary and theft. Generally, the northeastern states tend to have lower crime rates, with Maine often topping the list as the safest state. Maine's violent crime rate is less than a quarter of the national average, a testament to its peaceful communities and effective law enforcement. Similarly, Vermont and New Hampshire are also known for their low crime rates. On the flip side, the states with the highest crime rates are often found in the southern region. States like Louisiana and Mississippi have crime rates that exceed the national average. These states struggle with a combination of high poverty rates, low education levels, and less effective policing, creating a challenging environment to combat crime. It's important to remember however that crime rates alone don't tell the full story. They don't account for the efforts put forth by law enforcement, community organizations and citizens to create safer neighborhoods. Nor do they consider the underlying societal issues that contribute to crime, such as poverty, lack of education, and systemic discrimination. Also, keep in mind that while states like Louisiana and Mississippi have high overall crime rates, this doesn't mean that every city or town in these states is dangerous. Many communities within these states are safe and thriving, demonstrating that safety can vary greatly even within the same state. So, when we talk about crime rates, it's essential to look beyond the numbers. They provide a snapshot, but they're just one piece of a much larger puzzle. While crime rates are crucial, let's not forget about the importance of education. So, what's next? The education rankings. Moving on to the bedrock of any state's future, education, how well does your state educate its young? Education is a cornerstone of societal progress. It shapes individuals, communities, and indeed, the future of entire states. So, how do U.S. states fare in this crucial arena? Let's start by understanding the key factors that define educational success. Quality of education and graduation rates are two such significant parameters. 
Quality of education comprises elements like student-to-teacher ratios, school funding, standardized test scores, and even the proficiency of teachers. Graduation rates, on the other hand, reflect how effectively a state's education system can guide students through to completion. Now, it's time for the big reveal. According to the most recent data, the state with the best education system is Massachusetts. The Bay State shines with high scores in both quality of education and graduation rates. It boasts a student-to-teacher ratio that is one of the best in the country, and its schools are amply funded. The proficiency of its teachers is also commendable, as reflected in the state's high standardized test scores. On the opposite end of the spectrum, unfortunately, is Nevada. The Silver State struggles with both quality of education and graduation rates. Its student-to-teacher ratio is less than ideal, and school funding is found wanting. The struggles of Nevada's education system are mirrored in its less-than-stellar standardized test scores. But remember, the story doesn't end here. The beauty of education is that it's a dynamic field, always evolving. The rankings of today might not be the rankings of tomorrow. States have the power to transform their education systems, and in turn, their futures. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So whether your state is at the top, in the middle, or at the bottom, there's always room for improvement. And that's the beauty of education. It's a journey, not a destination. With education covered, our next stop is healthcare. Ready to explore? Health is wealth, they say. So, how healthy is your state? Let's delve into the rankings of healthcare across the United States, with a focus on three main aspects, accessibility, quality, and affordability. In terms of accessibility, some states truly shine, making it easy for their residents to access healthcare when they need it most. On the other hand, quality is equally important. It's not just about getting to a doctor, it's about getting the right treatment. Then there's affordability. In our analysis, we found a wide range of healthcare costs across the country. Some states have managed to provide excellent care without breaking the bank for their residents, while others struggle to keep costs down. We've seen some states excel in all three areas, while others lag behind. But remember, these rankings are just one part of the bigger picture. We've covered a lot of ground, but there's still more to explore. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll dive into even more rankings. That was quite a journey through the rankings, wasn't it? We've traversed through the landscapes of GDP, crime rates, education and healthcare, exploring the highs and lows of each state. We've seen the thriving economies of states like California and New York, contrasted with the challenges faced by states like Mississippi and West Virginia. In the realm of crime and corrections, states like Maine and Vermont emerged as the safest, while others like Louisiana and Alaska have some work to do. Education-wise, Massachusetts and New Jersey took the spotlight, while Nevada and New Mexico trailed. Shifting to healthcare, states like Hawaii and Massachusetts led the way, while others like Mississippi and Arkansas lagged behind. Remember, these rankings are just one way to look at our states. Each state has its own unique strengths and challenges. Thanks for joining us on this journey, and we'll see you in the next video.